Okay, so Belanga is getting fined and suspended by the New York Athletic Commission for biting Angulo. He goes on to apologize. And as you see, he just says he wants to apologize for his Mike Tyson bite. Um, some people are arguing back and forth whether he was winning the fight or whether he was losing. And I'll just simply put it like this. You tend not to bite people if you're ahead or if you're winning. That's all I'm going to say about that. But what I am going to say is him calling his bite the Mike Tyson bite. I think in a way he's using Mike Tyson's name to somewhat trying to cover, somewhat trying to shield, somewhat trying to make it okay, somewhat trying to make it less um, look less as bad by using Mike Tyson's name, calling it the Mike Tyson bite. I think that he should stand alone in his actions and there's no reason to bring up Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's name is going to be brung up anyway because you know he was also another boxer uh, from New York that um you know uh bit another fighter on the ear the difference is between barlanga and mike tyson is simply this evander holyfield was using his head as a weapon against mike tyson repeatedly and mike tyson tells this story um about Evander Holyfield always using his head and people know Evander Holyfield used his head as an extension of his weaponry in the boxing ring and he said if this guy is taller than me then why is his head always up under my chin the interview was out there and he kept getting hit by it and the ref wasn't calling it so out of frustration Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ear the difference is when it comes to Berlanga the only thing that was happening was the dude was putting up a heavy fight and getting in your ass and because you didn't want to, uh, because you couldn't accept or because he wasn't cooperating or going along with the plan, you bid him out of the fact that he was just doing good inside the boxing ring. And most people will say that they had you behind or even losing the fight. So the difference between Belanga and when it comes to Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson was being cheated against him damn self. It's no different um, from when... Um, What's my man name that headbutted the shit out of uh that was headbutting the shit out of uh, Floyd Mayweather, and then Floyd Mayweather ended up clocking his ass. I, I I can't think of his name at the time, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's not too much different from that, other than you know it's just flat out illegal. And what Floyd did was legal. You know that's the difference between him and Berlanga. Okay, Evander Holyfield was using his head as a weapon against Mike Tyson, so it's not like Mike Tyson was getting uh somebody was getting the best of Mike Tyson in the ring. And, you know, uh, as far as legally wise, and Mike Tyson just couldn't control himself and just got frustrated and bit off somebody here. Now, on Berlanga's end, that is exactly what happened. So, I think it's good that he's getting suspended. I think his, 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 his entire purse should be snatched. And not only that, he basically, he basically derails all the hype behind him. And most people don't look at Berlanga like he's anything special in the first place. And a lot of people can see why. A lot of people said that... Um, he bit Angulo sim simply because Angulo wasn't going along with the program at the end of the day. He was getting the best of him and making him look bad, you know, especially when he has all that hype behind him, you know, all this New York, Fat Joe and all that other stuff. I'm pretty sure that he didn't want to look bad in front of none of those people. But the fact that you would sit up there and just blatantly bite a man as in what? You thought you was going to get away with it? You think the cameras wasn't going to see it? You That just goes to show how frustrated and how angry he was. And once again, if you're ahead on the scorecards or if you win in the fight, how likely are you to bite somebody? You're obviously biting somebody for a reason. Either you're behind, you're losing the fight, they're getting the best of you, they're making you look bad or all the above. That's how it is at the end of the day, you know? But... Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all I got on this. Bruce Vane, I'm out.